Hello everyone, Man Faces here, and welcome back to Tester. So, in this test, we're going to be trying to figure out uh, the rate at which fertilizer goes to your workshop, and we're also going to see how the fertilizer gets there. I mean, I know I'm not going to be able to see it or anything, but my belief is that it's one fertilizer per brahmin per day but i think i could be wrong because a lot of people have been saying they've been having little issues on that and i know for a fact i had tons of brahmin at finch farm but they didn't really make that much fertilizer but we'll need to really go through the test so what i've done is i've emptied the workbench so there's nothing in there and then i got myself uh my own brahmin Okay, so basically this is going to be just a sleeping test, so a lot of it will just be me bouncing back in just to give you guys updates. Okay, so there's no fertilizer there. I do believe that he might be trying to move, so I'm going to go on ahead and see if there's a Brahmin pin somewhere. Yeah, because he's trying to get out of here. But I, I need to test to see without a Brahmin pen and then with a Brahmin pen. So I'm going to see you guys in about three or four days. All right. So it's been about four days since we uh, finally got our first fertilizer. Four days seems real taxing. Um, now, I did have to leave the settlement, slept 24, and then came back. So... Maybe it doesn't accumulate while you're at the settlement, like a lot of things do now. Most things, they require you to leave the settlement in order for them to kind of spawn. But anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put a feeding trough down and then see if that changes our results any. Alright, so I got confirmation on this. I've consecutively slept four days in the settlement just to try to see if I could just force it to come, but it doesn't work like that. It seems like I'm going to have to leave the settlement in order to get it to work. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the first load before we even started all this, and then I'm going to go capture another settlement, and then we're going to go sleep at the other settlement and then travel over here and see if it makes a difference. Alright, so we've captured Hangman's Alley. It's still the 27th, so I'm going to go on ahead and sleep one day, and then I'm going to head on back to Sanctuary to see what's going on. Well, we slept another four days at another settlement, and we're still batting zero, and I know it can't be random, so I'm honestly thinking that maybe it has something to do with how much food the settlement has, because if you have a high food rating, it will attract Brahmin naturally. So maybe that goes into the calculations for getting the fertilizer. So I'm going to set up a mega farm over here real quick. And then we're going to find out what's going on. So I'll be back. So after all of the in-game tests, uh, we decided to go on and hit the wiki to see what it had to say about it. And what it says is, if the player has a Brahmin in their settlement, such as one at Abernathy Farms or purchasing one from Kelly, then fertilizer will be gathered at a rate of one per day and added to the workbench similar to excess purified water and scrap collected by settlers. <coughs> I don't know, man, because we did it. So, this is what it says, but... I don't think it calculates that way. I'm not too sure. What I'm probably going to do is check out some farms that already have the pre-established. Maybe do a little bit of waiting, see how that works. Um, I also went inside of the creation kit trying to find something, but all I could find was a keyword for uh, workshop produces fertilizer, but I haven't quite connected the dots on that yet. This has been extensive, just so everyone knows. Alright, so the wiki didn't tell us anything. Uh, Alright, I guess let's get back in game. Alright, so we're back at the Brahmin Super Mutant Farm over at Finch Farms. Uh, we have seven Brahmin here, but I think we had nine. Because, okay, this is what has been happening. They all do this type of like pile up, and what's happening is they're dying. They're falling off of the pileup and dying, which is, I don't know, maybe that's a way of population control. I don't know, but 
if we come back to the house back here we can go on ahead and see that we have uh, 96 or 92 fertilizers so I haven't pulled this since the start of the video so it's been going for quite a while although that 92 fertilizer man I can make you a lot of ammunition all right so now what I want to do is sleep because the wiki said it was once a day so maybe with more Brahmin in a readily established farm uh, it'll work better so I'll see you guys in a day all right well we went two days still no fertilizer but I waited at the settlement so now we're gonna do all right let's see what time it is it is 5 4 10 9 in the morning so uh, I'll be back here at 5 5 10 in the morning but we're gonna go and mash through the Commonwealth for a day all right so went out for a day of adventure came back finally got some fertilizer so now we can kind of finally put this animal to bed what it really seems like is that it does work it is one time a day uh, but it's it's based on when the Brahmin got there so it has its own internal clock which is strange uh, and then you cannot be at the settlement for it to generate but I also noticed that a lot of these things don't do that like the scrap stations don't work like that you can't put eight down and then sleep for a year to get all your scrap they'll literally not do anything so I guess what you want to do is set your farms up in preparation for your adventure and then as you go out adventuring make sure you come back to the farms and check them out and you know uh, I guess breed them and things like that that way they get bigger because that's kind of how it worked out for me because I had I had already taken uh, about a hundred fertilizer when I did the ammunition station video so now I got another 92 so it will work it's just gonna take some time and honestly I don't know about sanctuary hills because it seems like it's a little glitchy for these things like you will saw in the beginning of the video we had tons of trouble just getting our first uh, fertilizer so I don't know but what do you guys think about it make sure you leave it in the comments below and as always thanks for watching take care everyone